Another reason why I really like HA fillers is because they are reversible. And this is really important. Fillers are generally very well tolerated, but in the rare instance that we have a problem, the, the main benefit of using a hyaluronic acid dermal filler as opposed to something else as a dermal filler is that it can be removed with an enzyme known, known, as, known as hyaluronidase. This is one of my absolute favorite fillers, and this is Juvederm Ultra, uh, made by Aragon. Essentially, this is what the filler looks like when it comes out of the box. And you can see that this is the syringe. So when these fillers are used, the effect is immediate. And the reason for that is that this is a palpable gel. So I'm gonna show you exactly what this gel looks like now. So you can see it's what's called cohesive. It's a cohesive gel, a little bit like honey, in that it sticks together. So when this is injected into your face, it shouldn't migrate. It should stay exactly where it is because it's designed that way. So frequently patients are a little surprised when I talk about, oh, we're gonna use four syringes, we're gonna use five syringes of filler to treat your entire face. Because this sounds like it might be quite a lot of product. Well, this is a syringe which contains about just over half a mil of HA filler. And that's what half a mil actually looks like. The main reason why I use hyaluronic acid dermal fillers uh, at least one of the main reasons, is the reversibility. And this is a, um, a medicine known as hyaluronidase. Um, and we can use this to dissolve the filler if needed. You can see I have a little bit of uh, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid or HA filler here in my little dish. And this is some hyalase that I've made up. So I'm going to add this to the filler. So what hyaluronidase does is it breaks down the bonds between the strands of hyaluronic acid within the filler. And essentially, the hyaluronic acid that we have in our face isn't cross-linked, it's constantly being broken down and replenished. So in order for a HA filler to actually stay within the skin, it has to be cross-linked by a chemical. And the most commonly used chemical is a chemical called BDDE. So that's what happens when we add some hyaluronidase to a filler made from HA.